Russian News. The operator Plato received a contract for the introduction of such a system in India. The company, Operator Plato, CEO owner of which is Igor Rodenberg, began the introduction of a fair payment system based on the GLONASS on the New Delhi, Mumbai Highway. Its operation in India can bring up to 2 to 3 billion dollars per year. Plato is adapted for use in India. The company RT Invest Transport Systems, RTITS, CEO owned by Igor Rodenberg, won the tender for the introduction of a toll-based satellite navigation system GLONASS in India and has already begun its implementation on the new Delhi-Mumbai Highway. This was reported to RBC by a representative of the RTITS and confirmed by the representative of the National Highway Agency of India. The Russian company signed a contract with the National Agency in late December 2018, a representative of RTITS told RBC. Parties do not disclose the cost of the project. According to Maxim Kudalov, director of the group of corporate ratings of Agra, the refinement and adaptation of Plato for India can cost about 10-15% of the development cost, that is, 2.94.4 billion rubles. At the same time, Rutitz earns not only on the installation of the system, but also on its maintenance, according to Vedamosti, the operator receives at least 10.6 billion rubles in Russia for his services. In year for 2016, the first full year of operation, Plato in Russia brought about 14 billion rubles, could a love notes. Given the Indian scope, we can talk about potential revenues from the system at the level of 2 to 3 billion dollars annually, he adds. Who does Plato work for? Ertits, CEO owners of which are RT Invest, 50%, Igor Rodenberg, 23.5%, Andrei Shapelov, 19%, and CEO of the company Anton Zemkov, 7.5%, are the developer and operator of Plato, state system of charging on the basis of GLONASS satellite navigation. This system covers 53,000 km of federal highways and over 1 million trucks weighing over 12 tons. Since the launch of Platon in November 2015, 66 billion rubles have been collected in the road fund. Investments in the creation of the system amounted to 29 billion rubles. How will deploy the system? The contract for the supply of transport monitoring and control systems based on satellite navigation systems GLONASS and GPS to India was signed in 2010. The fact that India is also interested in the implementation of the Platone system, in November 2017, was spoken by Yevgeny Dietrich at that time the first Deputy Minister of Transport. In April 2018, the head of the Ministry of Transport, Dietrich, clarified that an agreement with India on the use of the Russian toll system could be signed before the end of the year. In addition to RTITs, this contract was claimed by other foreign toll systems operators, Skytol from Slovakia, National Toll Payment Services from Hungary, and the Indian subsidiary of the Austrian company Efkin. According to the representative of Ertits, work on the deployment of the Platone system on the new Delhi-Mumbai highway with a length of 1.419,000 km began in January of this year, the launch is scheduled for April. The project is being implemented in three stages until the end of 2019. The results of the system will be presented to the Indian Road Agency for making further decisions, said the interlocutor of RBC. Now the technological integration of the Russian system and the FAS tag system existing in India is taking place, the existing roads are being digitized, where there will be barrier-free payment, there will be no barriers at the checkpoints, the RTITS representative said. The vehicles will be equipped with onboard devices based on the GLONASS slash satellite system, which have been developed specifically for this project. What results are expected in India from Plato? According to the Indian industrial portal IBEF, the road network in India is one of the largest in the world, its total length is about 5.5 million km, almost four times more than in Russia, the length of toll roads is about 12,000 km 64.5% of all goods are transported on the country's roads, 90% of the total passenger traffic goes through them. Anton Zemkov conveyed through a representative that the Platone system would relieve India's roads of traffic jams, 
increase the speed of delivery of goods and reduce the costs of cargo carriers and motorists. At the same time, according to Zemkov, within the framework of the project, the company will offer its Indian colleagues to test the developed system of weight and dimensional control and other services. Ashish Sharma, board member of the National Highways Agency of India, told the Ritz Press Service that the Plato implementation project is the first step to organize convenient and non-stop traffic on the new Delhi-Mumbai transport corridor. If the Russian technology shows its effectiveness and allows it to solve existing problems on highways, the next step could be to roll out a project across the entire road network in the country, he said. Russia's trade representative in India, Yaroslav Tarasiuk, told RBC that not many Russian IT companies operate in India, and there are no such RTITs at all. The Plato system will be in demand, he believes, because it is now taking a lot of time to overcome the fare collection points with barriers on toll roads in India. If we manage to set up a system of this kind, it will speed up the movement of transport on Indian roads and the transport of goods by road, Tarasiuk added. The Ritz contract with Indians means recognition of our technologies abroad, said Kuda Love. This is one of the first foreign applications of the GLONASS system, so that in the future its operation can be reduced in price, the expert says.